Hello guys, my name is Ali. On this channel, we talk about making money online. If this is something you're interested in, click that subscribe button and continue on watching. Um, I've been doing some training on how to uh, set up Google My Business, and this training was done actually through Google itself. And um, by the time I finish this, I should be able to take an exam. And as you guys can see down here, pass the, assess pass the assessment and earn achievement. So basically you become certified from Google with all these different courses that they have here. If I go home, for example, <clears throat> excuse me guys. Um, uh, you got, um, uh, pa -pa 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 -pa, what am I gonna say here? Basically there's different uh, courses that you can take here. Uh, Google ads, Google YouTube, uh, uh, YouTube courses, um, analytics, there's a lot of different um, courses that you can uh, do in here. I started doing um, GMB, Google My Business, and as you guys can see down here, we got basic courses and I'm down to the third one. And each one of these, they tell you how long it's gonna take, seven minutes, six minutes, five minutes. We're gonna do uh, optimize your business profile on Google. I've already finished these three lessons here and they're already checked. If you guys want to see the previous lessons, I'll leave the links below. Let's get started. Optimize your business profile on Google. Introduction. It's important to keep your profile up to date and engaging. In this course, you'll learn how to update your business information, enhance your online presence, and discover how and when potential customers are interacting with your profile. What you'll learn, how to make updates to your business profile on Google, how to use photos and reviews to enhance your profile, the, way, the ways you can use insight to track customer interaction, what you would do you've been using google my business to manage the business information for your small sporting goods store and you are ready to take you're ready to take your profile to the next level you really want to reach as many potential customers as you can what can you what can you do to optimize your profile. Press ECM, ECM is still okay. Keep business information up to date. You want to make sure you have accurate information available to potential customers. You won't have as much success bringing in new customers if your profile is out of date. That makes sense? Enhance your profile. There are a number of things you can do to get the most out of your profile, especially when it comes to uh, reviews and searches. Adding photos and responding to reviews can really help your business stand out online. <clears throat> Use insights. Insights is a powerful tool for tracking your customers' actions to see how they interact with your business. You can use data in Insights to inform your, um, inform your decision about making changes to your profile or updating your advertisement. Me, Mia, Mia, and Connor. Mia and Connor own a small music supply shop together. Typically, Mia is responsible for managing their online presence, but it's best if they both know how to use Google My Business. Let's follow along as Mia shows Connor the ropes. Update your profile and Google My Business. Mia knows that it's important to keep 
their business profile, I mean business information, up to date in their profile. So she quickly shows Connor how to update it. Okay, Connor, I added you as an owner to our account. Now you can have full administrative privilege. Let's get to work. The first thing we want to do is check out, I mean, check our profile to make sure, <clears throat> <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> to make sure that the information is up to date. Hmm, it looks like we haven't updated our business hours or our address since we moved. Let's do that now. We want our customers to be able to find us, okay? It looks like all the, all the other information is accurate so we can save our changes. Great, all of our edits were accepted. They should show up pretty quickly in Google if we've done everything right. Sometimes our, <clears throat> sorry about this guys. Sometimes our edits um, could be flagged as pending or unaccepted if Google thinks they are inaccurate. If that happens, you just have to go in, review and update the information. Use photos to enhance your profile. Once Mia is done showing Connor how to update their information, she explains how they can use photos to make their profile stand out and engage their customers. Mia knows how important this is, so she spends a bit of time going over it with Connor. Press the arrow, okay. <clears throat> Sorry. I think I need to get some water. Hang on, guys. Or coffee. I got coffee right here. Mm. Much better. <clears throat> Our profile is often the first impression customers have of us and our store. So we want to make sure we can get their attention. Luckily, Google My Business has some great features we can use to do just that. Let me show you how we can use photos to enhance our profile. See how these photos appear on a screen? I added those photos to highlight some of our best selling product and it worked. Last week, a customer came in looking for a specific item because she had seen a photo of it in our profile. So we really need to make sure we keep adding them. In fact, think, in fact, I think we should add a few more today. <clears throat> right now we only have photos of product in our profile. Let's add few other, other kids or other kinds of photos as well since we just had a new logo created we can add it to our profile that way when new customers find us through a search they will be able to identify our business all right so basically they're saying uh, uh, updating or adding more photos to their uh, profile it's gonna make it a lot easier for people to identify what kind of business they have and what kind of inventory they carry we can also add profile pictures so customers will be able to recognize our business on Google. Let's use the pictures of the two of us standing next to a guitar. Then people come into the store. So then when people come into the store, they'll know who to look for if they need help. Next, let's change our cover photo to our new store sign we want people oh, i'm so sorry guys i apologize um we want people to be able to recognize our store when they come in 
to buy something since they'll see the pictures of our signs at the top of the profile it will be easier for them to find us okay I like to add photos to our profile pretty often it's a great way to show off our new products and let people know what's on sale since school is starting soon we should update the profile with few with a few pictures of our students rental instrument let's add some now the more photos we add the more our business will stand out online this might help increase our ranking in search with an improved ranking our profile more likely to show up ahead of other profiles so we want to make sure we keep adding all of these great photos all right use reviews to, in, to engage customers okay let's check our customers reviews next customers reviews aren't just a great way to great way for us to get feedback we can use them to stand out from our competitors and show our customers that we have to off show customer what we have to offer we can also use them to engage with our customers the they're pretty important first look I mean first I like to read through all the new reviews and see what our customers are saying look this customer left uh, a really positive review about our customer service since it's positive review you might think don't need to do anything but I like to respond to the reviews it shows our customers we appreciate their feedback so I quickly type a thank you message it looks like this review isn't quite as positive as the last one the customer wasn't happy with our selection of sheet music well luckily we can respond to the review we want to let our customers know that we take their concern seriously responding to a negative review is a great way to address the concern of an on it uh, for of, of an of an of an upset customer and show potential customers that we appreciate feedback here let me quickly respond and let the customer know we'll look into adding some more new sheet music and thank them for letting us know oh god I'm so sorry guys <laughs> I apologize and let them know about um, let them know about their con about concern uh, wait a minute new sheet music and thank them for letting us know about their concern okay we went through all the new reviews and replied to them it's really important to stay on top of these we should also remind our customers to leave us reviews and share the link with them so they can <sighs> I don't know what's wrong with me sorry about that guys um, maybe I didn't get enough sleep we should also remind our customers to leave us reviews and share the link with them so they can do so quickly and easily we want to show our customers that we value them and want I mean value them and what they have to say let's plan on checking the reviews every week using insight insights to track customers interaction uh, Maya wants to know more about their customers and how they how they're interacting with them online 
she thinks the information she thinks this information will help them improve their profile and make decisions about new product special promotions and advertising so she shows Connor how to use insights to review the data we can get a lot of information about how our customers are interacting with our profile through insights we can track all the different kinds of uh, actions including how our customers searches or searched for us how many calls we received the number of requests for directions god I don't know what's wrong with me maybe I should drink some water the number of <coughs> excuse me the number of requests for directions how many customers visited our website and how many clicked on our photos so we can so, so we'll want to make sure we check our reports regularly we can look at the general information or we can tailor the report to get specific information about how and when our customers interact with our profile I want to say how many I want to see how many customers um, viewed our website for our profile from our profile so I'm going to select that option for our report okay so basically what they're saying it's by just looking at the reports and and you can find you can find all these insights right from your um, Google map uh, I mean not Google map Google my business GMB uh, app it's really really nice this way you can track your your how well how well you're doing um, I'm also curious how many of how many of our customers are viewing the photos we added since we want to start adding photos of upcoming promos I want to make sure people are actually clicking on them let's look at the data for photo views we can also see which days of the photo which days the photos were viewed the most the most which will help us decide when we want to post new photos each week all right Another great feature in the option to bulk export location insight for our location. I know we don't really need that feature right now because we only have one location, but it will be really helpful when we open our second store later this year. <clears throat> We have a lot of options when it comes to report reports in insights as we need as we need information we can filter the data to show us specific action information or we can look at the general numbers when we need basic when we need a basic overview of customers interaction I will it will be great it will be a great tool to use moving forward I would say so all right make it stick how many no we're gonna have taken a uh, quick quiz over here how many well, hold on so now you know how to update your business profile on Google and the importance of enhancing your profile to keep your customers engage before you start using it for your own business let's do a quick review you are running a special promotion at your sporting goods store and you want to make sure customers know about it what are the ways 
you can optimize and use business profile on Google. First one is respond to customer reviews, add photos, use insights. Um, they want to know what is, what are the ways you can optimize and use your business profile? I would say um, add photos and I would say um, respond to customer reviews. Hey, actually all of these, okay, I have to grab all three. I messed up. So it's gotta be one, two, three. I thought it was just the first two. All right, yeah, I guess you gotta do all three. That makes sense. Show answers, okay, there you go. I messed that one up. I'm, I, it was supposed to be all three, but I only got two. Mark complete. Here's a recap. Activity completed. You see guys down here, it shows you this little thing pops up and it tells you activity completed. Recap. So here's what we learned from this module. In this course, uh, not, not module, I guess they call it a course, same thing. In this course, we covered how we can attract customers using a various tool available, the, using the various tools available through Google My Business. We showed you how to update your profile and use photos to increase your visibility online. You saw the importance of responding to reviews and tracking our customers' interaction with your business. We also showed you how you can use insights to monitor how your customers interact with your business online. Mark complete. And now we have to close this. That'll bring us back to the main page. And we have to scroll down. You see now we got a check mark over here. Now we gotta go to the next one here. It's six minutes. Use Google tools to engage your customers. All right, let's check this out real quick. I think I'm gonna finish this today. I'm gonna do all of them. All right, so wait for it to load. Come on. Slow internet maybe. Or maybe a lot of people are on that um, portal taking that exam. Use tools to engage your customers. Introduction. Learn how to um, expand your business online, uh, online businesses, online presence, and interact with customers using Google My Business, Website Builder, Posts, and Messaging. You will learn how to create a free mobile-friendly website for your business in less than 10 minutes, how to get timely content in front of your customers with posts, how to message with your customers directly and privately. Meet Maria. Maria's passion is designing clothes. After some success selling her handcrafted designs at the street fair, Maria decides that it's time for her hobby to become a real business. After weeks of searching, Maria funds, finds a suitable location for her new shop. Maria's boutique, however, Maria soon realizes that maintaining a steady flow of customers is going to be more of a challenge than she thought. I can greatly expand my customers' pay, uh, base online, but I don't know how much about building a website or interacting with customers, especially on mobile. Without any money to pay for help, can I get my business on the web and manage it myself? Absolutely, Maria Google, my business offers tools that are free and extremely easy to use. Let's take a closer look. Build a website. With Google My Business Website Builder, Maria can have her website up and running in a few minutes. Best of all, the new site will format itself to look great on any device. Let's follow Maria's uh, through the process of creating a site. Press the next button to see what, uh, okay. Press the arrow to proceed to the next slide. Let's go ahead and press the arrow. 
Okay. Uh, next, Maria. Let me go back here. Is there any? Did I miss something here? Uh, Maria brings. Yeah, I, 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 I didn't read this down here. Maria brings or begins by signing into Google My Business and selects website from the home menu. Next, Maria checks that the business information about Maria's boutique is up to date, including the address, telephone number, and hours of operation. Update this information, updating this information is easy and any changes will appear on all of her Google My Business locations. Maria knows that customers refer to prefer to see images which suits her just fine. Her design are bold and tend to show well in photos. She also decides to add a short virtual tour of her interior interior of her shop and a cover photo of the front of the establishment to help people identify it from the street. Maria is also pleased that she can personalize her website choosing from a number of different templates. In the last step, Maria chooses a unique domain name and points it to her website. Within minutes, her published sites appear on smartphone. That's awesome. All right. <clears throat> so basically, all the, 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 the website's free. Everything's free. I think you have to purchase a domain, but I believe that's only like 12 or $10 a year. So it's really uh, very affordable. You can get all this done for, for nearly nothing. And everybody needs Google My Business for their, um, when, when they have an actual... Um, uh, when they're running a business get in front of customers with posts Maria Maria is thrilled with With this with his new website Maria is thrilled with his new website What do you mean his? It doesn't matter. I think that's a typo here, but who cares? Um, but now she's wondering how to make timely announcement about new products and promotions or upcoming event. Let's see how posts in Google My Business can help her. <sighs> Press the arrow to proceed to the next slide. Maria has created a stunning outfit design for Valentine's Day and she's excited to share it with customers. While Maria could just display a photo of the new outfit on her website since this is seasonal item she would prefer to create a custom post and feature it on Google search and maps posts last for seven days so Maria can feature her new creation uh, a full week before Valentine's Day Maria creates a post from the Google My Business home menu by simply uploading photos, typing up brief summary of her new seasonal product, uh, selecting offer as post type and adding buy button to purchase the outfit directly from the website from her website voila Maria has created her first post post insight will also help you will also help Maria track uh, views and customer engagement to help her develop even more effective posts in the future Interact directly with customers using messaging. Google My Business website and post are great, but Maria now wants to focus on customer service as small business owner. Maria is uh, on women's support team and she needs to be available for 
any question her about her products. Fortunately, Google My Business has just the tool for the job. Maria knows that not all of her customers will call and want an option to interact directly with her online customers through text messaging. The Google My Business messaging feature seems to be the perfect solution. Setting up messaging is quick and easy. Maria simply selects the customer's card and from the Google My Business home menu and types her phone number. Wait a minute, let me read that again. Setting up messaging, messaging is quick and easy. Maria simply selects customer's card from the Google My Business home menu and types her mobile phone number, okay? From the customer's um, perspective, messaging with Maria is easy. All the All they need to do is tap, uh, tap or click the message button below her business profile and type their message from their smartphone, just like any other text messaging. <clears throat> Maria can now ensure that her online customers receive the same great service and accurate information as her shop customers. That's a really, really nice feature. By the way, this uh, the messaging feature just got added just recently, by the way, and I think it's really cool. Messaging with customers is Google. Messaging with customers is a Google My Business feature that currently available in select countries. I guess it's not available everywhere. Okay. Make it stick. All right, quiz time. Maria's now that you've learned more about Google My Business tools, let's see if you can select the correct tool for the job. Maria's business is booming and Maria's boutique is ready for its next phase. Help Maria choose optimal Google My Business tool for each action. Select the best, um, the best answer from the choices in the drop down menu. Maria's boutique is moving to a larger retail location and Maria needs to make sure customers can reach her if they have trouble finding the new shop. Select one. Messaging website, messaging website builder posts. Okay, so Maria's boutique is moving to a larger retail location and Maria needs to make sure customers can reach her if they have trouble finding the new shop. Messaging. Messaging is good. All right. Now that Maria's boutique has been or has a new address, Maria needs to update her business information and photos. Select one. Website Builder. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Maria wants to hold grand opening event to promote her new location. Anyone who RSVPs will get 25% off discount on all item in stock. That's a post. Bang. Let's see what we got. Booyah. Got all three. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Maria has all the tools she needs all the tools she needs to manage the trans transition to new location and you have helped her select the most appropriate ones for the job all right let's close that come down here market complete See right here, so this thing pops up in the bottom, activity completed, market complete. You come over here and you click on that X. I think we got one course left. 
and then we should be done. Yeah, one more. This one here, manage um, profiles simply in bulk. Let's go ahead and see what that's all about. It's loading over here. You guys can see it, right? So we're doing the last one now, the last course. <clears throat> Waiting on that. I hope this is helping you guys. Google My Business is really something you everybody has to have. If you own a business, whether it's brick and mortar, whether it's on, whether it's online, you really need to have Google My Business. I mean, you'll be able to build your own website. You'll be able to mess, message with your customers. You'll be able to do posts. All that is free. It's available for you from Google. And also, if you want to become certified for Google My Business or any other training, you can come to this link. Uh, skill shop and uh, I'm gonna leave the link below you guys can click on it It'll bring you right here and you can become certified right from Google. It's really nice to have manage profile simply in bulk introduction Businesses of any size can take advantage of Google my business But how do you message at scale and this course will help you navigate? verifying business location in bulk and cover how to power campaigns in AdWords using Google my business location what you'll learn how to manage a large number of location locations and address bulk verification issues how to integrate our Google my business location with AdWords what you would do what you would do you've been assigned to manage the business profile on Google for your agency's newest client a regional chain of casual restaurants with close to 80 location you've decided to use bulk verification process but there seem to be issues with some of the locations what are some of the reasons your location might have been disapproved location is not open let's check this one out <sighs> locations location that are under construction or have not yet opened to the public are not eligible to add information in Google my business you'll need to wait until after they they've had their grand opening okay I guess if, if you're still in construction, you cannot get approved. Uh, correct business name. It's just a matter of matching what written on the sign outside your door, making sure the business name reflects the same capitalization as it, it does in real life. You'll also want to refrain from adding additional information like the store code that doesn't reflect its name in the real world okay so i guess they're saying over here um whatever it is that would so whatever sign you have on outside your your um in front of your business name have to match that all right and then the last one here multiple location in one multiple locations at the same physical location are not permitted if your client has locations with both a bar and sit-down restaurant you'll want to consolidate them under a single title all right so they're saying if it's uh, if it's just one building one address you cannot have multiple locations multiple businesses meet Serena you're looking for a little guidance setting up your restaurant client so you reach out to your colleague Serena who's an expert in setting up the profile of large chain let's see how she can help you out verification or I mean verify location with bulk upload spreadsheet hey heard hey I heard you wanted some help uh, setting up your clients profile since they have almost 80 location you don't or why don't we start at the beginning and work through your bulk upload spreadsheet it's 
key that you get the information correct to avoid delays in verification. If your locations, if your locations are disapproved, let's double check the fields for each of your um, client's location. Store code. Store code is a unique ID that you'll assign to each of their location so changes are applied accurately in their account. Each location must have its own unique code, but it won't be publicly visible anywhere on Google. All right, so the codes are just for internal use, I guess. Make sure you don't add it in any other fields like business name, since it doesn't necessarily reflect your client's real world's information. Okay, business name. There is, I mean, I'm sorry, this is the name that will appear on Google. Remember, to represent the business exactly, to represent the business exactly as it appears in the offline world, you will need to double check that the spelling, spacing, and capitalization all match for your client's location that are inside other locations like the restaurant they have inside a mall you won't need to add this information to the name just use the name of your core business okay so if you're inside a mall you don't have to worry about the mall thing you just use your you still use your um, business name Business location. There are several fields that define business location. Addresses are pretty uh, straightforward, but make sure you don't have any typos and the information is complete. Take care of, take care to double check the postal code since sometimes spreadsheet software will delete leading zeros, okay? Uh, latitude and longitude are required, but they are helpful in case there's an issue. They'll only be used when there's trouble locating the address on the map. Okay, all right. This is for for uh, Google My uh, uh, or what do you call it? Uh, Google Maps. Uh, website phone number, uh, phone number and website. You'll you'll want to make sure the phone number is correct and entered numerically use a local phone number instead of a call center number and make sure to use direct phone numbers and URLs rather than redir redirect okay uh, choose a category what, what, what they mean by redirect over here guys sometimes you would have a like say if you use a bitly link a bitly link would redirect to your uh, to your actual website they don't like that and sometimes uh, the phone numbers too don't use a number that forward onto another number that's what they're referring to over here all right categories choose categories that best respond your uh, uh, represents your clients business as the primary category you'll want to make sure this category consists across all location consistent across all the locations um, you can also add up to nine additional categories if needed. Upload issues. There are two other concerns that can create issues when uploading your spreadsheet. Let's listen in as Serena shows you how to avoid these potential problems. Required fields. Make sure that your your fed your feed has data for all of the required fields in it the interface will identify required fields for which information is missing numbers of location or number of location be sure to include at least 10 locations in your feed if you have fewer than 10 you can add and verify them individually using Google My Business dashboard. 
the Google My Business API. If you work with clients that has a lot of locations or locations that frequently need updating, you might want to consider connecting with developers to make managing data simpler. They can take advantage of this, to, to take advantage of the Google My Business application programming interface. Oh, that's what it's called, application program. I never knew what API stands for. I never looked it up, and I use it every day. <laughs> anyway, um, so uh, Google My Business application programming interface API, also known as API, to write an application that manage a Google My Business account and location data. Use Google My Business with AdWords location extensions. Now that your client's business profiles on Google are up and running, your client has expressed an interest in launching an ad campaign to reach even more potential customers. Let's follow along as you make this happen with both Google My Business and AdWords. Press the arrow key, okay. You meet with your clients and show them how AdWords ads work by showing up when users are searching for restaurants like theirs. They can get in front of potential customers and help drive increased sales. Thanks to all the work we've done, you can also, thanks to all the work we've done, you can also use their Google My Business location to power location extension. Oh, so sorry guys. <laughs> Um, they can, uh, you can also use their Google My Business locations to power location extension in AdWords. Location extension help people find your location by showing your ads with your address, a map, uh, a map to your location or the distance to your business. To make it happen, you'll just need to link your client's Google My Business account with their AdWords account. Again, guys, I've, I've mentioned that in the last video. They don't use the word AdWords anymore. It's just, you can, they took out the word words. So it's just called like, it's just an ad account. This, this training must be pretty old. Uh, you can link either business business or personal accounts with ad with AdWords to run location extensions linking a personal account enable locations in all businesses account to be used in AdWords linking single business account will only use location from the account hold on I don't understand this I'm gonna have to have this read out to me because I'm not grasping this Come on, read it, read it, read it. I have this reading extension here. I don't know why it's not working. Unless it's turned off. Hang on, let's try the other one. To, to make, make it happen, happen you'll, you'll just, just need to link, to link your, your client's Google, Google My Business, Business account with their AdWords, AdWords account. account. You can, can link, link either business or personal, personal accounts with AdWords, AdWords to run location extensions. extensions. Linking a personal account enables locations in all business accounts to be used in AdWords. Linking a single business account will only use locations from that account. Oh, okay. Okay. Linking personal account enables locations. Linking a business account will only use a location from that account. Link in a personal account enables location in all business accounts to be used. I'm, I don't understand this at all. I know if I have a question at the end, I know I'm going to fail that, make it stick. 
I believe it's right here. I can go back and read it. Now that you've created business profile on Google at scale and launched ads campaign powered by Google My Business location, let's see what you remember. You have a store code of, I mean, a store co code for each of your locations in Google My Business. What it's what is what is its purpose? Choose okay. What's what's uh to serve as a unique identifier so changes are applied accurately to your account to appear in your to appear in your business name so potential customers know the unique location to appear in Google search and its potential fields. Um, uh, to appear in your business name uh, so potential customers know your unique location I think so yeah right there submit not exactly damn it <laughs> the store code is a unique identifier for each of your locations in Google my business it's not publicly visible that's right this the, that's something you just for internal use not publicly visible when users view your listing on Google all right show answers whoa, whoa, whoa wait a minute not exactly there okay we already read that I mean show answers all right here to serve as a unique identifier so changes are applied accurately in your account I told you guys if I take an exam on this I'm gonna fail it but I did really good on the first five lessons I nailed every single one of them but anyway let's read the recap here in this course we covered how to verify and manage a business profile on Google to, at, at scale and avoid common problems we also covered how to in, integrate your Google my business account with ad with an ad account so you can power location extension in AdWords ads. All right. I guess we're all done here. Mark is complete. I know I didn't do well on this one, on, on this course here. All right, guys. I think I'm going to just uh, stop right here. I hope you guys en enjoyed today's lesson. Uh, this is lesson number three, by the way. If you guys go back and look at my other training, I have two more lessons beside, be, uh, beside that. I'm going to do the... Um, pass the assessment and earn achievement so basically when I finish this I'm gonna be certified by Google I know if I'm gonna mess up on anything it's gonna be I'm gonna go back and study this last one here because I, I didn't do so well I'm gonna study um, uh, manage profile sim simply in bulk um, because I don't think I did really good on that course but the other courses I did really well I, I got I nailed every single question there was a couple of them where there's multiple answers and I end up picking one instead of two or two out of three but I, I was going in the right direction but this one here I definitely was way way off so manage uh, profiles simply in bulk that's something I need to go back and uh, restudy uh, the assessment um, um, uh, achieved uh, uh, assessment or achievement this assessment over here basically the exam the quiz the quiz or whatever you want to call it it's only six minute long it's really really short but I'm gonna save that till tomorrow and um, I'll definitely pick up where, where we left off and um, uh, I'm gonna also record it this way if you guys decide to take this course you know what to expect and you'll be able to pass it and and earn your achievement right from Google which is really nice to have um, I don't know if I'm ever going to use this or not, but it's just something to have, you know, just extra um, uh, certificates to, you know, of achieve, achievement or whatever. Anyway, beside the point, guys, I'm going to leave a couple links below if you guys want to make some money online. Again, this is a, a Make Money Online channel. And uh, if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. If you have any questions, just leave them below. I know I messed up a lot, and I didn't know most. I'm, I'm kind of like doing this on the fly. I'm just riffing. So if I made some mistakes, I apologize, but I hope it was uh, helpful overall. And um, I look forward to talking to you guys tomorrow. Have a wonderful day and uh, best of luck to you. Uh, I want you guys to check out the stuff that I have. In, um, I'm going to leave the, the link to this course in the description below. 
and also want to mention that um, I'm going to have a bunch of links in the bottom where you um, should, some uh, training on how to make money online and I'm going to um, link it all underneath in the description. If you guys want to check them out, just click on them and get started today. I've been using uh, uh, Go High Level because it allows me to how to allow me how to it allows me to build websites, do email messaging, do uh, SMS messaging. Basically, I used to have a bunch of tools that I use from different places. Now I'm using one software that allows me to, to have everything right there, all in one place. I have uh, my own phone number, Tulio. I'll be able to send messages. I'll be able to receive phone calls, record phone calls. I can um, do um, uh, workflows. So basically, if somebody comes in and opt in into my um, landing page or whatever, my website, it automatically sends them an email right away. It automatically sends them a message. So it's really, 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 really powerful CRM. If you guys are interested in trying out, uh, go high level for uh, two weeks for free. That's 14 days for free. The link's going to be below. Good luck to you guys, and I will see you on the next video. Bye-bye.